The 850i we would like to present to you today represents a quantum leap in progress. It is the perfect blend of beautiful styling, refined performance and fascinating technology. end result of how good the car looks I want to show you guys how we got there so on this car we've got this really oxidized old red paint and it's a massive thing for red paints that are single stage that they get this oxidization level on the top so we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to cut that back really well with a good cutter and then finish it with the polishing compound then what we're gonna to do to keep it that way for as long as possible is put our ceramic coating over the top the ceramic coating that we'll be putting on it is the CC Evo because it's a dual stage sealing effect. So that way we won't get any oxidization coming through for as long as possible. And I'll run you guys through exactly how we did it now. So first things first guys, we'll run a tape line down the middle of the bonnet. So as you guys can quite clearly see, this paint has a lot of oxidation on it. It's seen a lot of hard years. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut it right back. So what I'm going to do to cut it back is I'm going to use one of my personal favorite machines. This is a flex force rotation dual action machine. These are very easy to have at hand and have good cutting power and good finishing power. So for any beginner detailer, I recommend this machine because it's so much better cutting than a standard dual action machine, but it also does nice finishing. So if you've just got one machine, I recommend this. If you have access to more machines, that's obviously a different story. So what we've done here is we've put a hybrid wool pad on it from Sonax. This is a mixture of natural and synthetic fibers. It has a really nice cutting power, but also finishes quite glossy compared to other cutting pads. What we're gonna do on this is we're gonna put a bit of cut max on this, prime it, and then have our first pass with the cutters to see where we can get this paint to. We'll be using cut max today. Liberally prime the pad like this, Put a bit of extra compound on it that doesn't run dry at all and that's good to start out with. So after the first really quick pass we can already see the pad is getting completely clogged from the paint and the oxidization. So keep making sure that you blow out the pad otherwise your pad won't have that efficiency that it normally does. So now you can see there's mild holograms in this paint, tiny bit of marring. So to clean that up, we'll be changing over to our finishing compound, which is perfect finish. You'll see how glossy it will be after that. And personally, I love to finish these paint jobs with a rotary machine and like a softer pad because it actually gives you a higher gloss than what you get out of a dual action. So here, the perfect finish on the brand new pad, add a bit of compound onto it. Again, we need to prime it a bit because it's a new pad. And that gives a pretty good indication of how long you can really work the perfect finish before you need to put more compound on it. So now let's wipe it off and see where we're at. So down here for the front bumper, seeing we're dealing with really small sections, we've decided to change to an 80 mil backing plate and a little 80 mil wool pad, just so we can get into all the small nooks and crannies.
just completed the 50-50 on the vehicle and that shows us really what we can get this red paint to. So what we'll do is now cut the rest of the vehicle and then give it a one save with that perfect finish and then we can get into the ceramic coating. So this here is the panel that I've been putting off this entire detail because it scares me the most actually. It's been resprayed. It looks like it's been a professional job, but it was a long time ago. So you can see there's a blend here, but it's always, it's a little bit risky polishing these resprayed areas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently work at it and then increase the cutting until we see where the paint's sort of at. And then if it's a pretty good solid base, we'll really give it a solid cut back and make it match the rest of the vehicle. So now we've given this a really thorough cutback and um, you can get a very good result, but perfection is no longer possible without a respray. There's a slight imperfection as you can see down here where the um, blend was done. But overall, this is actually a very good result without having to respray the vehicle. Today we're doing a detailed run through of how to apply the ceramic coating CC Evo. It's our flagship coating with amazing properties. I'm gonna tell you all about it now. First things first, let's have a look at what's in the kit, guys. So you'll receive a box like this. In the box, you'll find two aerosols. You'll find your prepare and your base coat. Our gloss coat has changed from an aerosol to a serum type form. So first I'll run you guys through the prepare. So that's a small prepare here, which is like our panel wipe to make sure there are no contaminants on the surface. So our base coat has a really good bonding capability. After we've prepared the entire vehicle, we'll be using our base coat. You apply the base coat on approximately half the bonnet or so, let it flash off for between three and five minutes and then buff it off depending on outside temperature. And after one hour, the base coat has completely cured out and that allows us to now apply the gloss coat. This is what gives us that awesome depth and gloss and slickness that we all want out of the ceramic coating. The hour in between actually goes super easily because by the time you've done one lap around the vehicle, you're pretty much ready to start again with the gloss coat. Another thing to mention is that every kit comes with a set of gloves. These gloves are just to prevent any fingerprints on the surface whilst you're applying the ceramic coating and the ceramic coating itself is not particularly harmful or anything like that as we are completely fluorine free, yet chemical precautions should be taken with all chemicals. 
With the CC Evo, you get these new applicators that have this felt backing on them. They're amazing to spread and distribute this ceramic. It works really easily and very efficiently. Alongside that, we'll be using three coating towels as well. One for our prepare, one for our base coat, and one for our gloss coat. So let's start out with our prepare and our first coating towel. What we'll do is we'll pop the cap off that. And then next to the vehicle, I'll be giving this a good spray and then we can start wiping down the panel. We're just giving this a good spray down. Now wipe the surface that we will be coating. So normally we'll do this step for the entire vehicle first. So now we can dispose of this towel and move on to our next towel for the base coat of the ceramic coating. So we'll grab our first applicator and our base coat and now we will prime our first pad and then apply the coating. So as we're applying the ceramic coating, we wanna do cross hatch motions to make sure that we didn't miss any spots whatsoever. So now that we've allowed this to briefly cure and it's flashed off showing us that rainbow type tinge, we'll be using our next coating towel and wiping it all off to a streak free finish. For the next hour, applying the base coat the entire vehicle around, we'll come back to this and I'll show you guys how to apply the gloss coat. So now the entire base coat has been applied to the vehicle and it's cured out we will be applying the gloss coat with a fresh applicator. So you have two applicators in the box for the gloss coat as sometimes about halfway through the vehicle, you might find that your applicator starts hardening slightly and that's when you change over to a fresh one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna prime the pad, put a bit of extra gloss coat on there and then we'll apply the gloss coat to the section. Usually you'll apply it to the section, let it flash off for a while and when you can start seeing it bonding, that's when we'll wipe it off and make sure that we wipe it off to a completely streak-free finish. Otherwise, you might find high spots and stuff like that. So we can see now it's become a little bit more translucent and at this point we'll grab our coating towel and buff it off until we've got an absolutely streak free finish. So we've done this section we can now move on to the next part of the vehicle and work our way all the way around again. Mm -hmm. 